Yeah, we, we only have this vaccine because of Operation Warp Speed and the incredible leadership of Donald Trump and for Biden and his cronies to be running around somehow beating themselves on the chest, uh, taking credit for it is uh, is 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 unethical at best. Uh, they are the ones who ought to be giving thanks and gratitude to President Trump and those who uh, labored so intensely over months to get the vaccines out. I wish that that President Biden would have mentioned something to, you know, typically an incoming president will will give his predecessor some credit. Uh, America is vaccinating not just America right now. America is vaccinating the rest of the world because of three American based companies, Moderna, Pfizer, Johnson and Johnson. We've seen the AstraZeneca vaccine have serious problems in countries in Europe. Many are not using it right now. They've suspended use. Uh, how important is it for, for the American people to, to realize the how tremendous Operation Warp Speed was in just a year to get this all done? Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely stunning when you look back at this. We've never had such speed to come up and deal with a pandemic like this. Of course, uh, most of us have never lived through a pandemic to begin with. But when there is something like this, typically it takes years and years and years uh, to develop a vaccine, sometimes even longer than that. And to be able to come up with, in less than a year, three different companies that are providing vaccines to the American people and the entire world is absolutely stunning. It is one of the greatest medical feats in the history of our country, I would think it would be uh, fair to say. And all the credit goes to Donald Trump for putting the, uh, the, the pedal to the metal to get it done for the safety of the American people and beyond. Yeah, it'll ultimately be a major part of his legacy, Congressman. Uh, the president said the stimulus package is already doing what it was designed to do. Uh, millions of people did get checks, those $1,400 checks over the weekend. Uh, but do you think we'll ever know where the rest of that money is being spent? No, you know, uh, what it's doing, unfortunately, sure, some people are getting $1,400 checks. But what they're not saying is that they're now in debt an additional $5,700 to the American uh, government. This is uh, a further continued step of bankrupting our country. And we already have on the heels of this, Rob, another uh, bill, another so-called stimulus package that's probably going to be in the ballpark of three to five trillion dollars. Right. We simply do not have the funds to continue down this path. And so it's it's very frightening. It's disturbing. And, and I'm hearing it uh, from people in my district uh, just last night in a, in a, a meeting with uh, a, a group of folks uh, they're just deeply concerned with the un, uh, the 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 just undisciplined spending that we are watching here in just a few months of this administration. Yeah, I, I'm with you here. It's not like it's a minor bill where we're trying to rename a post office or something. It is the largest spending bill and the most progressive bill in U.S. history, and not a single hearing was ever held on what's inside the bill. Uh, here's President Biden yesterday promising people vaccine shots and maybe cash payments. He sounded confused, but I want to get your reaction. Take a listen. We're just days away from 100 million shots and millions in the arms of millions of Americans. That's the way. That's the way on the way to get every single American access to the vaccine. Any idea what the president was trying to get at there? Uh, I don't have any more idea of what he was trying to say than he does, to be very honest with you. He, he unfortunately is just stumbling around. Here's a man who is deeply incapable of being the leader of our country right now. It's a sad state and who knows where it's going to go from here. The good news is the vaccine is being made available. And he, I believe, was trying to communicate that. Hopefully that is going to be a reality. But the, the fact of his mental capacity is likewise very, very disturbing uh, to as well it should be to our entire nation right now. Well, I think it's affecting his entire administration. Uh, Jen Psaki is having difficulty with mixed messaging. We've got a crisis at the border that nobody wants to call a crisis. Uh, nobody in his administration, including the president, will, will ask that uh, Governor Cuomo resign. We think there might be a double standard there if this were, say, the governor of your state or, or a governor like Ron DeSantis or somebody who's Republican. Uh, I think there, there would be calls for resignation. Um, I think the court of public opinion has, has already ruled. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the filibuster. When the Democrats were in the minority, they had no issue with it, but now they have a real issue with it because it's going to get in the way of the president's progressive agenda. 
Yeah, and you know, hopefully they won't uh, exercise the nuclear option. This would be a disaster uh, for the the country, obviously, but I believe it'd be a disaster for the Senate and for the Democrats as a whole. Uh, the Democrat, the uh, Senate is set up to be a slow, deliberative body right. where there is a lot of debate, a lot of discussion, and they pull from both sides of the aisle. And to strip that away from the institution would be just a, a horrible move for our country and the Senate as a whole. And yet what we know is this group of Democrats in Washington, D.C. are committed to advancing their radical agenda. And I don't know that they'll